Hi, my name is Lauren, and I'd like to welcome you to my home outside the beautiful city of Atlanta, Georgia. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my family's recipe for spinach dip. Now, this wonderfully crowd-pleasing recipe is something that I guarantee you will love. It is a simple recipe that will look great on a platter, and I will be gone before you know it. And this recipe consists of two 10-ounce boxes of frozen cream spinach that I've just cut into big sections. We got one pound of Havarti, and as well as the most important ingredient of them all, the Kraft Philadelphia cream cheese. This cream cheese will add a lot of flavor and a lot of creaminess and just bring the entire recipe together. And it'll be just wonderful. For that, we we'll use two eight ounce boxes that I've already cut into cubes, as well as some garlic powder. So let's go ahead and get started with this recipe. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some of the cream of the cream cheese into the bottom of the dish, as well as some of the chops, the frozen chopped cream spinach. And layer on some of the Havarti. Now we're going to go ahead and finish out with the rest of the cream cheese, the rest of the spinach. Now don't worry if it doesn't end up all being in one spot because everything's going to melt and come together and just be wonderful. So now here is the last of our spinach as well as the remaining Havarti. Now my Havarti I have here in slices, but to be honest, you can always just get a one block, a one pound block, and cut it into cubes yourselves. I've just found it easier to use the uh, slices so you can layer it on a little bit easier. And to top it off, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now this is something that you're going to add to taste. Now if you do not like a whole lot of garlic powder, you can always add a little bit less. If you're the kind of person who loves the flavor of garlic, you can always add a little bit more. Now here is the wonderful part of this recipe. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put it in the microwave for two and a half minutes just to get everything started to melt. Now make sure when you put it in the microwave that you've got the turntable turned off just in case you've got a pan as large as mine so that it doesn't end up hitting the sides. But what makes this recipe so wonderful is that I can put it in the microwave. I'm sure you could also put it in the oven. Uh, it would just take a lot longer. And you know what? Why use the oven when the microwave will be so simple? So while that is going in the microwave for two and a half minutes, I'm going to get my bread bowl ready. This bread bowl is a one pound round loaf of bread that I got from my local bakery. Now this is something that if your local bakery doesn't have, I'm sure you can ask for them to order it and they could get it to you generally as soon as the next day. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to chop off the top to make this a nice beautiful bowl that will be wonderful for presentation of this dip. Now if you don't have a bread bowl, that is quite alright. You can just put your dip in the center in a large bowl. The presentation here just adds a little bit extra. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out some of the center so that we have a nice center area for the bread bowl, for the dip to go in. So this recipe is something that my husband absolutely loves. He's not much of a vegetable eater, but you know what? He will devour the spinach dip anytime it is made. Every time we make the spinach dip, he loves it. When we got married this past fall, and we decided to have 
the rehearsal dinner in our home that was out of his mouth before we could say anything at all. He said, I will make my spinach dip. And you know what? It was a great hit, as always. So now I'm going to take the top of this bowl and I'm going to go ahead and cube it so that we've got some nice good dippers for our spinach dip. Every single time that we've made this recipe, it is one of the first things to go. Whenever you see in a party, and you look around where everybody's standing, they're always standing right around the spinach dip. And this has been a great go-to recipe for all of our parties, and it is even something that people always ask us to bring. Now, I believe I heard the microwave, and it's been two and a half minutes, so I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna take it from the microwave, and I'm gonna give this a nice stir. You'll notice that there's still going to be a lot of chunks, and there's still a lot of pieces. We still have some more microwaving to go, but you don't want to microwave it all at once because you want to be able to make sure you have a nice consistency throughout. So I'm going to give this a nice stir, and I'm going to put it back in the microwave for another two minutes. And you're going to keep doing that until all of the uh, ingredients have melted. Now this is a great, wonderful spinach recipe that will get even the most picky spinach eaters or vegetable eaters to eat their spinach. Now there are a lot of people out there that don't like vegetables. I believe my husband would be number one among those. So this recipe is great because it's got the creaminess from the uh, Philadelphia cream cheese, but it also has the spinach that adds a little bit of extra nutrition that a lot of people like me would really enjoy. So I'm gonna just sit here and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish cutting up my bread bowl until the spinach dip is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll stir it after two minutes and then after that, every single minute until it is fully melted and everything comes together wonderfully. So it looks like our spinach dip is all ready to go. This did not take me very long at all. It ended up being about seven minutes total in the microwave. And look at this. Everything is nice, creamy, it's all together. You've got the cheesiness, you've got the spinach, you've got the Philly cream cheese, and everything looks wonderful. So we're gonna put this to the side and bring back our bread bowl so that we have our beautiful presentation. So now, I'm gonna just fill up the bread bowl as far as it will go. Now don't worry, you're gonna have some extra, especially if you started with two 10 ounce boxes. So now we have some in reserve for when the bread bowl is emptied out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start spreading around some of our bread cubes. I'm gonna mix in some of the white bread cubes with the brown just to make it look that much prettier. Okay, so now we have a delicious, beautiful looking recipe wonderful appetizer for a crowd that can easily be halved for a small amount of people or doubled or tripled if you really needed it to be. So now we've got our beautiful recipe that is completely ready to go and it took less than 15 minutes and I guarantee you everybody will love it. So I think I'm gonna have to take a taste of this before anybody else knows it's around and I won't be able to get to any. I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon and thank you for spending this time with me. I hope you enjoy the recipe and I hope to see you very soon. Bye!